Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 Wake turbulence and vortex simulation systems allow for a more detailed simulation of how aircraft move through the air and interact with the environment around them. Each system operates on different scales, from small details like wing surfaces to large atmospheric phenomena. This new system tracks airflow and turbulence over a large area, extending up to six minutes in the and covering a distance of over 10 kilometers. Anytime the wing is generating lift, you are going to find wake turbulence. It's most common during takeoff and landing because not only are the wings producing a lot of lift, but also because airplanes are following each other's paths, spaced closely together. Let's say you're a light jet, something on the size of a CRJ-700, and you're flying one direction in an airway. An A380 is flying on the same airway in the opposite direction 1,000 feet above you. The A380 generates a large wake turbulence, which computational fluid dynamics CFD models. In the real world, it takes several minutes for the wake turbulence to dissipate to the point it's not a concern for other aircraft, but MSFS 2020 stops modeling the flow after a short time, so the wake turbulence simply disappears in the sim. Your CRJ-sized jet passes under the A380 without issue. With MSFS 2024, that wake turbulence will now be modeled for six minutes, which can be bad news for you crossing underneath it if the simulation is close to real life. Wake turbulence is generated by the pressure difference between the lower and the upper side of the wing. This difference is very high at low speed because to keep constant lift, you have higher CL and CD. This doesn't mean that wake turbulence is not generated in cruise, but its effect are not relevant compared to takeoff and approach phases where the turbulence is much stronger and the vicinity to the ground gives less room for corrections. That is why wake turbulence and vortex simulation systems allow for a more detailed simulation of how aircraft move through the air and interact with the environment around them when landing or at takeoff. The computational fluid dynamics. In the 2024 version, it has been upgraded to include the impact of engines on airflow. For example, when an aircraft is stationary on the ground and the engine is powered up, the air from the engine will hit the tail and affect the aircraft's stability. This also includes ground effects, turbulence, and other aerodynamic phenomena that are essential for simulating real-world flying, especially for helicopters and gliders. The accuracy of these four systems allows for unprecedented realism when it comes to how aircraft behave in the air. In one demonstration at the launch event, the wake turbulence generated by a large aircraft remained visible for several minutes after takeoff, with the turbulence decreasing in intensity over time but still present for up to six minutes. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is a significant evolution from the 2020 version, adding much more in terms of gameplay diversity, realism, and technical sophistication. With the addition of career modes, expanded aircraft, dynamic environments, and graphical upgrades, the 2024 edition offers a more complete and immersive flight simulation experience for both casual players and aviation enthusiasts.